Greetings, my friends, and welcome to this DataBits special edition. Today, we're going to time travel, and we're going to do it via our time machine, which is the Philips Compact Disc Interactive Player. Now, this disc inside this machine that we're going to show you has products, audiovisual products from the early 90s, including VCRs. And I know you guys love VCRs, so we're going to do this virtually. So it's like a live stream without going live. Does that make sense? So what kind of machine are we playing this from? This is our time machine, the CDI 470. It is a PAL CD interactive player. And this particular machine was released also in the early 90s. And it's my favorite of all the models that they produced. Within it is this disc. It is the Philips Audio Video Products 9293. So it's like a virtual catalog, so to speak, but a little more fun than a catalog. So let's launch our time machine. We're going to click this little play CDI icon right here on the right of your screen. There'll be a brief introduction and then we're going to come back and we're going to pick our language and then we're going to dive into this thing. Here we go. Play CDI. So we have a brief disclaimer that's going to come up here. Little info about, you know, this isn't available in every country, that sort of thing. All right. And here's where we get to pick our language. There are several languages to choose from, and I'm going to use my magic wand to pick the language. Let's go with the United Kingdom, simply because if we don't, we're not going to get English. And next, we got this weirdo. Okay, he says, push the button. Here we go. It's my favorite thing. Welcome to the main menu of this CDI. You can find lots of information here about many new Philips products. The products are arranged in groups. Move the cursor to a hot spot and click. If you would like information about Matchline products, for example, then you should move the cursor to Matchline and click. And you go through the same procedure to select other products. If you want a quick overview of the product groups, click Overview. Click Exit if you want to end this program. Click this button for the address for further information. Click on Help and you will hear this message once again. I don't think I want to hear this message again. Hey, look, I am on a Philips CDI era television. Isn't this cool? I've always wanted to be on TV. Finally, I've got my break. We're going to go over here and do this introduction, which will kind of give you the flavor of the rest of this series here. And this is an overview. I'm going to disappear, and then I'll come back after this overview. It's kind of cool. Crank up your stereo. There's some cool music on it as well. Here we go. Hi, we want to show you a range of products that Philips is most proud of. First stop, high quality TVs in all shapes and sizes. Products with distinctive design and superb picture and sound quality. Products for families at home and for individuals on the move. On to video recorders. From basic to sophisticated, but all easy to use and the means to capture those magic moments, as large or as small as you want them. Here is an exciting new Philips technology, an interactive compact disc system that brings you a new world of information and entertainment on your TV. Then, straight on to a stunning collection, the Philips Collection, a powerful combination of innovation, design and quality. Portable power too, in sound machines with digital technology.
and clocks that do much more than simply tell the time. Compact mini systems with full functionality. Innovations like DCC, the digital successor of the compact cassette. And finally, Real Hi-Fi, the world's first system with digital components, the 900 series. Video recorders. Video picture quality. Now let Philips open your eyes. With its unique laser head cutting technology that guarantees very accurate, longer lasting picture quality. With its revolutionary turbo drive decks for twice the normal speed in forward and rewind modes as well as much faster picture start on playback. All sophisticated machines, but all simple to operate and with advanced features, such as today programming, which saves several programming steps, teletext programming, and programming delivery control, PDC, which ensures that recording starts only when a TV program actually begins. What's more, all Philips video recorders are supplied with ergonomically designed remote controls that confirm every action visually on the VCR. Add to all this the outstanding sound quality you've come to expect from Europe's leading audio manufacturer and you'll see why Philips video recorders are in a class of their own. Okay, guys, I'm back. Hopefully this guy's not going to say anything else here. Nope, he's not because the machine is hung up. Well, no, it's not. Or is it? There we go. VHS stereo VCR. Portable LCD VCR. VHS mono VCR. SVHS SVHS Stereo VCR. Okay, let's start with that one. Let's go ahead and start with our SVHS. And I find this one uh, right here in the front here, pointing in the right direction, uh, that little portable. I've never seen one like that. I did see some early um, 90s Sony products that had an 8mm deck with an LCD screen, but I've never seen a VHS deck with an LCD screen like that. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at SVHS. In this menu, you can select the following. The return button. The VR813S VHS Matchline Hi-Fi Stereo Video Recorder provides excellent picture quality also in the new 16x9 format. What is more, it is programmable via teletext and has an automatic head cleaning mechanism. I did not know 16.9 was even discussed in the early 90s. Were you guys aware of what 16.9 was in the early 90s? Completely new concept for me. Now, there's no extra products here to take a look at, so let's go ahead and hit Info. You can make the following selections in this menu. Click on a marked text and you'll get an explanation of this item. Click on specifications. Okay, I'm interrupting him there. So there's a, a, a little discussion here about the laser cut SVHS video heads. So you can see here this particular machine, the VR813 SVHS stereo, uh, four laser cut heads. Eight hour recording, that was pretty much normal for a lot of VCRs. Excellent hi-fi stereo sound. NICAM digital stereo, where available. 
Never even heard of such a thing. Automatic 16.9 widescreen recognition for recording and playback. The VR813 will automatically switch 16.9 capable TVs into this mode. Incorporates ease of use on-screen menus and simple teletext programming. Wow. All right, so let's see a little bit about these laser cut SVHS video heads. I don't know. I don't know if I'm impressed yet. Are you guys impressed? Let's take a look. Philips is a specialist in outstanding picture quality. Specialization that starts with the video heads. A unique laser cutting technology is used to obtain an optimal quality and shape of the video heads. Together with the laser welded chassis and titanium plate tape guidance pins, it guarantees the very best picture quality throughout your VCI's lifetime. Auto head cleaning is performed during every insertion and ejection of a tape by means of a small brush. This operation also helps to ensure the best picture quality at all times. I think it's funny on uh, some forums, people will say, what is the best thing to clean video heads with? And I'll jokingly say, uh, oh, some Brillo pads or uh, I don't know, maybe a wire brush. But don't try that at home. That's not a good thing to do. Uh, let's see. So the VR813, never saw one of these here in the United States. Never heard of NICAM Digital Stereo. Here's just some more um, specifications. SVHS Stereo Hi-Fi, laser cut heads, teletext programming, audio video long play, transparent teletext recording, automatic switching, 16.9, we talked about that. Sound dubbing and mixing and a flying erase head. The amazing flying erase heads. Saw those at the circus. And two SCART sockets. Not just one. You get two SCART sockets. All right, we're going to go back to the main menu here. Doo, doo, doo. Let's go back. Now let's take a look at this portable particular LCD portable. VCR. As he said, portable LCD VCR. Let's take a look at that. In this menu, you can select the following. The return by Your okay. favorite I television interrupt. programs and video recordings clearly delivered wherever you are, thanks to the PVR200 Portable TV VCR with multi-system reception powered by batteries or mains. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else you got for us here, boy? Bro. Boy, bro. You can make the following selections in this menu. I know, I know, I know. Get out of there. All right, so this particular unit has a very compactness to it. A uh, high-tech combination of full-featured VHS VCR and a 4-inch LCD color TV. With the PBR200, you can watch TV, record a program, or watch pre-recorded cassettes in any European country. The European multi-standard compatibility is linked to portability via mains or battery power. The unit weighs four kilograms. Alexa, what is four kilograms in pounds? Four kilograms is about eight pounds, 13 ounces. Good grief. That's, that's heavy. Okay. Um, the VCR part, two head mono VHS. Timer, 24 hours in advance, auto store of TV channels, a four inch active matrix LCD screen. Can you imagine looking at a four inch screen for two hours watching something? Yeah, uh, okay. And we already saw some of those other things. All right, let's go back to the main menu here. What do we have? What's extra about this? Is there extra? Main menu specials? What are specials? Hmm. Laser cut video heads, turbo drive, or today programming. Interesting. Okay. We're not going to look at those specials. I don't find those very special. 
All right, so we have extra and we have return. Let's do that. Here we go. All right, so we've seen the super VHS VCR. Let's take a, take a look at the VHS stereo type, VCR. As he said. The VR723 4 Plus 2 head hi fi stereo Matzline Turbo Drive video recorder provides optimal picture quality thanks to its laser cut video heads. It is very easy to operate via the Jog Shuttle remote control and is programmable by teletext. Most excellent. All right, so I think we have a, several different models here based on the fact that there's a little arrow here. So we have the VR 723, 722, 522. If you have any experience with these VCRs, leave a comment down below. Would love to hear more about these particular models. I don't know if this is going to say much more about it, though. Okay. Do you guys want to see about the turbo drive deck mechanism? It's kind of a boring video, but uh, I don't know. Curiosity is, is going to kill you if I don't show you this. So here we go. This is Turbo Drive, kind of a demo of Turbo Drive. The Turbo Drive VCRs are a new generation with super fast video decks. They offer a very quick startup and on screen picture. They also have a much shorter wind and rewind time than conventional VCRs. Click the button and see just how fast they are. So we just saw demonstrated the rewind as well as play and you have the screen divided in half with the i guess the slow vcr on the left side and the fast turbo vcr on the right side so let's take a look at fast forward i don't know what this is going to do but let's fast forward see what happens My VCR doesn't sound like this. And this will conclude our demonstration of Turbo Drive. So let's go back in the menu. And some of the features here, I'm going to move myself up to the top left here. Some of the features are uh, superb picture quality. Again, laser cut heads, ergonomically designed on-set controls coupled to on-screen displays for easy setup and use. Excellent hi-fi stereo sound. And again, Nikam digital stereo where available. Did they even introduce tapes that were had digital stereo? I thought that was like a eight millimeter uh sony thing um let's see easy to program with lcd remote control and one touch today programming so this exclusive feature called today programming let's take a look at that what about tomorrow programming 
kind of like tomorrow programming better. Today programming is a very quick and easy means of programming your VCR. Just click the Today button and select a channel using the remote control. When you've selected a channel, click the Today button again and enter the program starting time. After setting the time, click the Today button once more and your selection is programmed to record. Okay, not bad. Um, that is today programming. I thought it was a little more extensive than that, but I suppose it is not. All right, we're going to look at one more thing here before we head out of this particular video for today. And then we'll call it a day. And maybe even a night, depending on what time it is there. It may be a day. It Portable may be a night. LCD VCR. Let's go back to the main menu. Hopefully the machine doesn't freak out on me here. Yay, I get to be on TV again. This is so cool. Okay, uh, let's see. We had satellite receivers. We had CDI. We had boom boxes, a widescreen TV, CRT, a uh, four, uh, 4.3 television, uh, camcorders. Let's take a look at Hi-Fi. As he said, hi-fi. High fidelity. The essence of Philips audio components and systems. As you might expect, they've the features and programming facilities that help make life that little bit easier the shape and form that comes from imaginative yet practical design, and the innovations that keep Philips at the leading edge of audio technology. But it's their sound quality that makes them special. Digital sound quality in new products like the Digital Compact Cassette, DCC, Digital Speaker Systems, DSS, and the 900 Series Audio Components. Philips also gives you the very best in analog sound from the powerful MIDI systems, the sophisticated Easy Line, and last but by no means least, the feature packed Mini Systems. Philips Audio, sound reproduction as faithful to the original as you can get. So I suppose my CDI player will would go great with that particular one. What's this we have here in the middle of the screen? DCC. DCC? What is DCC? I want to find out. What's DCC? Give me some DCC. I want it. The DCC-900 can play the new digital compact cassettes as well as conventional cassettes. Excellent sound quality from a new digital recording medium that is also equipped with new recording possibilities and additional information on the pre-recorded cassette itself. Now, I don't know if you guys have any experience with DCC. I do. I did buy one of these decks when they came out new, and they were very difficult to learn, to use. Other than putting in a pre-recorded tape and hitting play, recording was extremely difficult. It was not straightforward, like a regular cassette deck. In the now time, people do still collect these machines, and it is quite common to need new caps in those machines. In fact, if you have one, it either needs caps now or it will need them very soon. So let's see, is there another DCC model on here? Let's take a peek. Ah, the DCC 600. That's a cool one. Didn't see that one here in the United States. And lastly, the DCC 300. Again, we did not see that particular model here. In fact, we only saw 
the very first one there that you saw. And then, uh, of course, some portables uh, also appeared here in the United States. Uh, I don't know if there's any extras, extra coolness to look at here on these. Uh, well, there's a little mention of Bitstream up here. Let's see what that's all about. Bitstream. Bitstream is a sophisticated method for converting a digital signal to analog and vice versa. One of the advantages of this is that in quiet passages of music, levels of distortion are very low. Here are some of the exciting features of a digital compact cassette player. High quality sound with bitstream DA conversion. Easy digital recording? No, it wasn't easy. Also from analog sources, sources via top quality Sigma Delta AD conversion. Playback of existing cassettes. DCC text info. Here, let me move myself out, out of the way here. On a 12 character display, text time to switch between text info and time indication. Search title via next previous to find tracks by title. Increased ease of use within a system via the ESI bus. Direct optical and electrical outputs, inputs, sorry, for direct digital recordings. CD sync for easy recording from CT, CD to DCC. Extender marker functions, blah, 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 blah. Record, pause to halt the recording. Repeat, Dolby B and C for playback only. Record level, timer switch, remote control with volume control, headphone connection with variable, variable volume control. These are exciting things. Well, guys, this will conclude our time travel via the Philips CD Interactive Player. I hope you enjoyed our quick tour of some VCRs from the early 90s, as well as DCC, which is also a tape-based format. If you would like to subscribe, please do. And also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you to my Patreon contributors who are so incredibly faithful and have helped to finance what you are seeing here today. Well, that's going to do it for today. Hope to see you next time. Please check out all the other exciting videos from Databits, and we'll see you next time.